Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I've got to say that as vastly thrilled as I am to chat with you today, I'm deeply, deeply dismayed with the Associated Press for their mishandling of the Nevada Democratic Caucus results. I understand that the Associated Press wants to be the big shot and call races, but when a caucus is still only 66% reported in and their margin is less than 5%, it seems more professional to wait things out a little bit. At least to me. And I'm a simple man. When a company does something that simply disappoints me, my simplest recourse is to vote with my wallet and to make sure to never give that company money ever again. Well, if I can help it. You know, for example, when the Walmart in my hometown closed down all the nearby fabric stores, you know, just by running them out of business, underpricing them, whatnot, all the sewing machine shops and everything like that were gone. What does Walmart do? Six months later, they renovate and get rid of their sewing section which left a lot of people in the community very disappointed. I didn't really do too much sewing, but it was still, it rubbed me the wrong way. It didn't seem like the right thing to do. And so I just stopped shopping at Walmart. My life has gotten a lot better since then, and I cannot prove that shopping somewhere else has made my life better, but I can prove that my life is better, and and maybe not shopping at Walmart had something to do with it. I don't know. It's hard to say. But, you see what I'm saying here. The Associated Press, they, they made a bad impression on me today. And I want to cut them off financially. But that's hard to do. They're insulated from me financially because I don't buy most things from them. And, and neither do you. Most of their clients are actually newspapers. And most of us don't already buy newspapers. Technically, I get the Wall Street Journal for free with my subscription to something else. And so I listen to that every day. But I'm not going to cancel a, like, subscription to something else that happens to give me a copy of the Wall Street Journal that occasionally references Associated Press articles just to get at the Associated Press. That's not a good use of my time. So how does the Associated Press actually face the public? How does it face you and I? Well, you know what? The Associated Press has an English writing and grammar and whatever style guide that they do sell to people. People like you and people like me. And I got really mad at them earlier today, and I thought, I need to promote their competitors. I need to tell the people who watch my videos that there are other ways to write English grammar, and that they don't have to pay the Associated Press tax every time they want to turn in a term paper. But you know what? Cooler heads prevailed. I thought about that for about 15 seconds and said, no, that is a terrible idea and a terrible use of my time. It is terribly petty. What I need is an idea that's still terribly petty, but is a great use of my time. And I've decided the solution to this problem is to create my own style guide. The Joe Hill's English language grammar I should have written down a title in advance improvisation is hard sometimes style guide. And my first bone I'm going to pick with modern English as presented by the AP is that I feel personally that they have done an exceptionally poor job of formally recognizing a distinct plural form of the word you. And as such, I hereby recognize y'all. Howdy, y'all. I see you right there. You have been recognized. Enjoy your newfound recognition. You are all of the things that y'all of us need. We appreciate you. But you know what? That's not good enough. You can't just have a style guide with one entry. And one thing I've seen popping up a lot, it was like word of the year by somebody's guide. I haven't had time to research this. This is a, this caucus thing just happened pretty much. There was a recognition of the agendered singular they as, as an agendered pronoun that would suit all of our needs and replace he or she. Now, the phrase he or she is unwieldy. But the sentiment is good. It's good that we're saying, hey, it could be anyone in this role. It's not necessarily the traditional male gendered pronoun or female gendered pronoun. It it could be either. We're open to whatever. But you know what? We already have a word that means they, and that's they. And given that they word, another meaning, which is he or she, is a little bit backwards. That's like using the word you to mean y'all. We don't need they to mean he or she. We just need to contract he or she into her she. Look, we save the same amount of time, you all. 
y'all, he or she, Hershey. Yeah, like when a doctor addresses a patient, Hershey might speak to them properly. Wow, that's a bad sentence. When a doctor addresses a patient, Hershey might use a stethoscope. I don't know, do they use a stethoscope when they address the patient? Sometimes. I should have researched doctors before this. Pretty much the only thing I looked up was that the name of the Hershey Foods Corporation is now the Hershey Company, and I want to, you know, use the word Hershey as much as I can to not refer to them, because then they can lose their trademark, you know, the same way Xerox and Kleenex did. Basically, I had a good and plenty one time, and while I'm being good and petty, you know, I want to mention it's it tasted a lot like licorice. I thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be plenty good. It was just a licorice candy, and I do not like the taste of licorice any more than I like the Associated Press calling caucuses when only 66% of precincts have reported in. There's just something wrong with it. It just doesn't taste right. You know? So, this, this, is, this is a good start. Y'all formally recognized. They left where it was, replaced with Hershey. Perfect. Seems like a good start. But you know what? You can't make a full style guide with only two entries. That would be like making... What was something else that would be no good with only two entries? A hospital. You know, you might need multiple entrances. One for the ambulances, one for the people. I'm on a doctor kick now. They probably have a door that they use that comes in from the parking garage for staff. You know, you can't just have two entries. So, in addition, my style guide would actually use all the words that you guys use in your daily lives. You know, all the cool internet slang that right now you have to go to Urban Dictionary for would be in my style guide. You know? Like, we would recognize Chamomilian, the anti-establishment untaxed tea that shifts its taste to suit the environment. Or Stamp It, which I'm told the kids use these days to seal their approval. And, uh, you know what? And one other thing. I've noticed that when citing scholarly sources, the Associated Press does not recommend folks begin their entries with the word howdy, or end those entries, or conclude them. Hey, this is a grammar lesson. We're going to use fancy words. The Associated Press does not encourage you to conclude your entries with keep adventuring. And that's not the kind of treatment y'all are going to get around here. So until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.